it's Victoria Resource here, back at it again with another video. And in today's video, we will be doing another update reveals. And in this video, we'll be talking about the new coat colors for the Bash Care Curly Horses, a new uh, coat color for cats, some spoilers in the game files, and a little bit of a rant about mirroring and why I don't agree with it, but why I understand it. So without any further ado, let's just get right into the video. So the first part of the video is going to be the new coat colors for the Bash Gear Curly Horses. Uh, this is going to be a spoiler, so if you don't want to see them, don't watch the video. That simple. But I know some people like to see them before they're released so they can decide what one they want to save for and all of that kind of stuff. Also, these will be coat colors on the Shinko Teague Pony. It's not the actual horse in the game. It will just give you an idea of what they're going to look like in the game. So again, it's just basically the coat on the Shinko Teague Pony model. And the video is from CC Creations, which I'll leave her link down below. And then also I'll be like posting a little picture on the side and I cannot pronounce her name, but I will also have her link down below. So let's just get right into it, shall we? So first up, we have a chestnut. Overall, I mean, it doesn't seem like it has too much shading, but again, this is just put on the Shinko Teague, so it probably will be different in the game. Its socks are very cute. One's a little bit higher than the other on the back feet. The blaze is adorable because it has a little bit of black with like, I feel like maybe it'll be pink. Maybe that's just completely white, but the blaze is really cute as well. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it definitely is pretty cute. And this is the one that was in the spoiler that Star Stable released. The next one I believe is a buckskin paint. Correct me if I'm wrong. I love the one little, little like foot marking like the sock on the bottom. The face is absolutely stunning. That is beautiful. Um, does it have one blue eye? It might have one blue eye it looks like has a little pink nose. I feel like they put a lot of detail into these, especially in the faces. I really like the mane as well. Overall, it's probably gonna be my favorite one that comes out. I feel like with the mane especially, I like how there's a little bit of brown mixed with the white. Definitely, definitely really like this horse. I feel like they took notes from the um, Norvik Pony that we got to create. Definitely feel like they're uh, taking inspiration from that. But overall, love this one. Next up, we have a gray. Doesn't look like there's any face markings. There might be under the mane. It has kind of like a star on the muzzle. I think that's what you call it. Um, it has some shading, so like the face looks lighter. Uh, overall, it looks pretty plain with no socks, not really any like blaze or anything. It's still really, really cute. I love black horses, so I feel like gray falls in that realm, and I'll probably be getting this one. Overall, I like it. Next up, I believe we have a Palomino, and if I'm not mistaken, this is probably going to be my favorite Palomino in the game, because if you've seen Horses I Regret Buying video, I regret buying a lot of Palominos. The socks are very cute. It has socks on all four feet. Uh, the face, it has a larger blaze. I feel like it has a pinker muzzle. I definitely feel like they put a lot of detail into these. And I like how the mane is a little bit darker than just straight up white, but I feel like it definitely goes with it very, very well. And I like how this Palomino's lighter one. Yes, overall, definitely think I like this one and I'll probably be getting it. Yes, very cute. Next up, we have a Pinto, I believe it's called. Um, can I just say I love the mane. I love how it starts dark by the face and then it goes into like the lighter, the white, and then the tail's completely white. I feel like the markings are very cohesive and they look very cute. We also have another um, facial marking. I feel like that's, I like the break in it. Very, very adorable. I love the colors. I definitely will be buying this one. It's a beautiful, beautiful horse. And then the last one, I think it's called a flax and chestnut. Probably not. If I'm incorrect, please educate me in the comments. Um, I feel like the mane is very, 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 very bright. I don't know if it really matches the horse. 
I feel like the coat color on the horse is very, very pretty. It reminds me of like that Morgan, but the Morgan's much darker. And then it has the white mane, which I love. Um, it also has a blaze on the face. Not my favorite blaze. This one's probably my least favorite out of the bunch, but it's still really cute. CC Creation also mentioned that in the game files, there is two files labeled Magic Fjord Pumpkin and Magic Fjord Tree, which makes me think maybe there's going to be new Jorvik Wild Horses, but like Halloween themed, like we got um, the one guy, the Headless Horseman's horse last year. It makes me think that we're going to have those, but a Fjord model this year. And then in her video, she also included, um, we're getting a black cat, which I'm super excited because in my last video, I made a comment saying that I'd love to see a black cat for Halloween. And guess what, guys? We'll be getting that, and I'm pretty pumped, and I definitely will be buying it. So in the last part of the video, I will be sharing some art. Um, I'll put the artist's name on the screen because I don't want to butcher it. She just did some recolors of the cats, and it puts Star Stable's cats to shame might I add, because just look at those details, and imagine if Star Stable, like, put this kind of effort into their cats. They look amazing, and I know people were saying, well, it saves room in the files, and obviously it saves them time and all of this jazz, but personally, if I had to pay more money for these cats and also wait longer, I a thousand percent would if they looked similar to these ones. So, all in all, guys, what do you guys think about the new Bashkir Curly Horses coat colors that are soon to come? What's your favorite? Are you guys excited for the new Black Cat for Halloween? Do you guys think that my theory is right? That maybe that these new Magic Fjords will be um, Jorvik Wilds, but like Halloween themed? Who knows? I hope you guys all loved this video. I will definitely be doing more in the future. Please subscribe, like, let me know your thoughts and opinions, and yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day, and thanks for watching.